Hey friends, it's Len here at 1A Auto. Today I'm working on a 2007 Hyundai Elantra. I'm going to show you how to re replace the transmission output sensor. It's going to be a fairly easy job. I want to be the guy that shows you how to do it. If you need this or any other part, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. So here we go. We're going to take off this 10 millimeter right here. The other one should be right there. It's missing. Not too worried about it. We'll set this aside. Put our bolts aside. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and get under here. Okay. One of the so I'm just going to show you right where it is. It is right down here. Okay. So there's a little push tab right where my green little pointer's touching on. I'm going to push that. I'm going to take this little wiring harness up and out of the way. And then I'm going to take out the 10 millimeter bolt that holds it in from underneath. That's my plan. So I'm just going to use whatever I've got for a tool that I can try to push on that button. Let's see. Try to get it down in here. You could also try to use your finger if you're strong enough. Deep down in there like that. Sometimes it's kind of hard to grab onto. There we are. There we are. Every time we take apart an electrical connector, we take a look. Make sure there's no funny colors, no rainbow colors or anything like that, rust. That one looks pretty great. We'll set it aside. Now I'm gonna try to get my 10 millimeter down in there and I'm gonna try to remove the, um, the 10 millimeter headed bolt. So. All right, so I'm gonna take off these lug nuts so I can get the wheel off. I'll show you why in a second. I'm gonna use my half inch air gun. This is available at 1AAuto.com. 21 millimeter socket. <coughs> Just zip these lug nuts off. <coughs> Take off my center cover, hub cap, whatever you want to call it. My wheel. Okay. Now right under here, there's going to be a 10, a 10, and a 10. We're going to take off all three of those bolts so we can take off this plate right here. We're going to take out these 10s. Get done on here. One, let's see, there's number two. Let's see if I can get this in here. Might need a swivel. Let's grab this one. There's two. We'll grab the other one with a swivel here. There we go. Let's see if we can get this one off of here. Bolt. Got our little splash shield. Very nice. So here we go. You got my pointer. Let me show you right where that bolt is. Right here. Super easy to get to once you take the wheel off and your little splash guard here, right? Boom. Booyah. So we'll take this off, then we'll see if we can get the sensor out. If we can't get the sensor out past these tranny lines, we'll remove this this and there's a 12 millimeter bolt around the front there. Let's give this a try first. We're just taking out the 10 millimeter. I can get my wrench on there. Everything's nice and rusted. There we go. Give it a bonk. Bonk, bonk. There we go. You can use something like a ratchet wrench or whatever you've got. Might even be able to get a socket with an extension in through there. I just don't know if it's going to get caught with the bracket. So it's really up to you. You can give it a try if you want. I'm just going to get this so it's loose enough to grab it by my, by my fingers. And uh, I'm probably just going to try taking it out that way, really. Let's see if I can grab it. There it is. We'll set that aside. And grab our sensor. See if we can give it a little wiggle. I can give it a little twist, push. There it is. Easy peasy. 
Here we go, friends, a quick product comparison for you. We have our output sensor out of the front of the transmission on a 2007 Hyundai Elantra, and we have our brand new quality 1A Auto part right here. As you can tell, both these parts match up exactly the same. Same link this way. They both have their mounting holes. They both have their little wiring uh, inputs there where you can connect it in, your wiring connector. Turn it over. Looks the same that way. Exact same thickness that way. There we are. So as you can tell, this is a quality part. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't want to install this into the vehicle, so I'm gonna. If you need this or any other part, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. So here we go. I just put a little bit of uh, silicone paste. It's going to go around the seal here. It's prerogative. It's up to you if you want to do it at all. I mean, some people do, some people don't. Whatever you want to do. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put this back inside there, okay? It went in this direction, the bolt hole facing down. We remember because it was hard to get to the bolt. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. Wiggle, snaps right in. I'm gonna take my bolt. See if I can get it weaseled in there. If I could just get my fingers in there. Come in like this. And that's a nail. Getting it started is the hardest part. Once it's already going, we can grab it with the wrench, you know. Get my little ratcheting wrench on here. It's gonna get it turned right in. Okay, it's bottomed out. Just gonna get my wrench. There we are. Just snug it a little bit. That feels pretty great. Okay, we can grab our connector. It's up top there. It'd be easier to connect from uh, up top anyway. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this cover back on and we'll move along. So let's get our bolts started up in here. Right, three of them, three holes. Need to see if I can get it lined up. That's the hardest part. Just using my ten millimeter. There we are. All right, we'll zip the wheel back on. All right, we'll get our wheel up on here. It's all right, it's not like this is rusty. All right, so we're just gonna be careful here. We don't wanna cut ourselves on anything rusty. Easy. We're gonna grab our 21. We're gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, five. Star pattern. Okay? Just like art class. There we go. We'll make sure we torque this up to 80 foot pounds and we'll continue. So here we go. We're gonna torque these down to 80 foot pounds in a star pattern. One. There we are. If you wanna go around again, you can do that, of course.
there we are. Let's get back up top. We'll finish up this job. Yep. Here we go. We've got our connector. I'm going to connect it in down there. All right. Just going to take it. Try to get my arm down. Heard a click. Give it a little tug. That feels great. Now we'll get our little tubing here. Air duct. I'm just going to go ahead and put this right here. Set it on here. We got one broken bolt. If it wasn't broken, you just put one in. I'm going to use the one bolt I have. Start it in there. Use my 10 millimeter. I'm going to tighten right up. There we are. Just a little rubber fitting there. There it is. Easy peasy. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.